This is a quick little CNC project I've been thinking about doing for a while. We're going to make a maze using Inkscape and a program called JS Cut for the toolpaths. This is super simple in Inkscape. We just did a square, rounded off the corners. We did two ovals and then did the path command and difference, the difference option, which removes them. So we've got two holes or two handles to, to put a hand through. As far as the maze, that's just a snip. I went online, found a maze, did a screen capture, brought it into Inkscape, and then went up and turned it into a bitmap trace right here. You can trace bitmap, and then you can do all kinds of cool things in Inkscape that JS Cut will understand to send that to the CNC machine. These guys here are tabs so that when the CNC cuts it out, everything stays put. We save this whole image as an SVG. The outline here is my parameters and in inches for the cutting area on this very small 3040 CNC. It's about 14 inches wide by about 9 inches high. So once we save this image, we went over to a program called JS Cut at jscut.org. It's a free program, runs in the browser. I've got other videos on how to use this. And here's our design. You can see these tabs, these little cutouts here, which are what these little yellow cutouts are. And there's our cut. Take about 30 minutes or so. It tells you here 1816 seconds, which works out to about 30 minutes or so. Our parameters here. This is our speed. This is our angle that's always at 180. And 0.125 is our 1 8 inch cutter. So we save this as G code and open it up in mock. Pine shelving cut into pieces for the CNC machine. We've made our cuts. That shelf liner in this case didn't seem to hold on tightly enough. Those cuts were a little tight inside the maze. For larger things, that shelf liner sticky paper has worked pretty well. But we'll vacuum that all off, clean it up, and cut out those tabs. A couple quick coats of shellac. Super simple CNC cut maze. This was the online SNP image that we grabbed and converted into a bitmap for the toolpaths. Just a piece of pine shelving. Nice little holdable thing here. You could design this in all kinds of cool shapes. One thing to keep in mind is make sure that the gaps between here are large enough either for your beads or marbles or whatever you're using. Kind of cool. Thanks very much for taking a look.